other business at this time. Public comment. Any public comment? Any public comment? Yes, Michelle. Uh, Michelle Pavlik, High Street. Street. Um, I just have a couple questions about the uh, the life insurance. Where does that currently show up as a benefit in the budget? That shows that shows up under uh, life insurance on the back page. It should be under uh, life insurance. I don't see the oh. category for that. Mm -hmm. Like Social Security? It yeah. should be insurances, unemployment, liability, insurances, other employee benefits. Uh, workers' comp, workers' comp. No. Uh, yeah, the personal yeah. benefits start, starts with sick pay. Health insurance. I'm just I, 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 I believe it's I believe it's in with the health insurance right. with the employees. I I'm 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 not health sure exactly. Insurance? No, I, I I could be wrong. I don't know exactly okay. where it is in in the budget. I can't answer that question. I, I would okay. have to ask Doug where he puts that plug. Okay, that so so it's somewhere in here. Yes. <laughs> okay. Yeah, because all all employees get a life insurance policy. Okay, so if if that's the case, if it's part of the budget. Um, what is uh, under what scope of authority is are the selectmen acting to approve this extension of a, a benefit for an outgoing employee without the benefit of a public hearing or any kind of public input? Um, it, it seems like a little bit of a gray matter. I mean, I understand it, it's nothing personal. I understand the intent. We're not the adding to the budget. <laughs> the budget is not being increased. No, but your 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 life insurance benefit is something that you currently have because you're an employee of the town, mm -hmm. and that benefit is covered by the budget, which is approved by the taxpayers. Mm -hmm. This board tonight has voted to approve the extension of that benefit at no cost to the town after you leave office, mm -hmm. but that's without because the benefit. Because that, that would that would be uh, what they call an accounting uh, in and out. In other words. I, I forget the exact financial term of it. It's it's in here, out there. I, I, I know it's a great. I, I know uh, it's a Doug great will be explained. We're not adding to the budget, not at all. The budget is not being increased by this cost. Mm -hmm. There's no cost to the town of Seymour for this benefit. If there was a cost to the town of Seymour, we would have to show that in the budget. Right, so there's no Actually, cost. There's no you, cost. Have an inc you have an expense and an income. You'll have an expense item of, say, $500, and you're going to have an income item of $500, and it'll be a wash. I understand that, but the bills are coming to town hall. Mm -hmm. The bills are not going to your personal address. Mm -hmm. But if he's paying in advance, if I may, to me, they would offset each other in the same line item. And there'd okay. be no increased cost. And if he's you not feel paying that, in okay. advance, then it would be different. And there's a legal basis for the Board of Selectmen to approve this type of arrangement. I'm just asking. Could I'm, somebody show me where that is or tell me what it is? I believe that there is. You're conferring a benefit on the position of, of First Selectmen. Has it been done in the past? Yes, for salaries. For, for life insurance, I'm talking about. Well, wait, no, that, it, that, that's, it does, that's a compensation that, that increases the budget impact. <coughs> the board of selectmen has the authority to increase the first selectman salary, okay. and they've done that in the past. Okay. I'm asking if life insurance benefits have been extended to outgoing first selectmen in the no. past. No. They have not. Nobody requested it. Okay. It has been requested, and George has reviewed it, and from a legal standpoint, he says that this board is allowed to approve this. Yes. And that's on tape. Okay. That's all. I just want to make sure, because the life insurance is part of the budget, and the public is not having a say in this. I'm not saying they wouldn't approve it, they wouldn't support it. All I'm saying is they're not being given an opportunity to have a voice about it. There's a lot of people out there without insurance at all. Okay. We have a board of that. <laughs> is granting contract extensions and all sorts of benefits that the mm -hmm. public has no say whatsoever. Have you been at those meetings? Which meetings? <coughs> Last night or any of the prior months when this has happened? Oh, I wasn't aware of those meetings. I wasn't either because the agenda only was put online today for last night's meeting. <laughs> That's thousands, tens of thousands of dollars. Today. I can't speak I, to that, John. All I can speak well, to is... Well, I urge you, with your concern, I'm concerned about it, I urge you to go there sure. mm -hmm. and look into that, because I think that's a much, much bigger issue. Mm -hmm. And you can make an issue of this, anyone could. Our insurer it's expected not so that. Much, it's not so much making an issue, John. I just had a question, because it's not clear in my mind this particular issue. Um, 
Obviously, I'm not going to be aware of every issue that's going on in town. I'm at this meeting. This issue was brought before the board. There's obviously frustration, uh, a look of frustration on, on some of your faces. I don't mean to belabor the point. I just wanted to understand the budget implications and the legal basis for you taking the action. Not comparing it to other similar actions. I, I just wanted the question answered. Do you understand that now? I'm asking. No. Um, yes. Oh, I did cover the control. The, you said the, yes. Okay. The, no. I, let me let me just interject. The town of Seymour pays for the medical costs for the employees at the Seymour Housing Authority. They reimburse the town of Seymour. The board of selectmen approved that condition many years ago, allowing them employees to be on our medical costs, even though those costs can be go up in the future on all the town of Seymour because they go by experience. This will not generate anything. So in the past, we the Board of Selectmen has approved, without going to public hearings and everything else, do have the authority to approve uh, certain things. Public hearings aren't just used where there's money concerned. That's my point. It's not just because there is or, is or isn't a financial impact to the town. We've yet to see that because this has never happened before. Hey, so we're making a lot of assumptions here. All I'm saying is we're hearing that there will be no cost to the town. We already understand that the town will receive a bill, have to handle reimbursements, minor administrative costs. You know, maybe uh, some feel well deserved for, for all the years of service you gave to the town. That's not what I'm questioning. The public does deserve to have input on things that concern the town, and it isn't always about the money. And it isn't always about the fact that it doesn't have a tax impact. Okay. That's all I'm saying. You've said tonight that you have a legal basis, that the action that your board has taken is valid, and you believe it to be true, and I accept that. Um, problem with this board, Zach. Any other public?